Since 2003, the Homeless World Cup has helped over one million people turn their lives around. It proves a ball can change the world. And being part of that experience is something that no one involved can forget. On day one of the tournament in Mexico, I met a young man called Donnie Nicholson. And Donnie not only played football for his country that day, he also agreed to appear live on BBC Radio to tell his story to the world. Our media team quickly briefed Donnie, telling him what to expect, and ten seconds later, he's on. It's as if he's been doing live broadcasts for years. Soccer saved my life, he says. Without it, I would probably be dead now. I played to kick cocaine, he adds. I played to no longer be homeless. I played for my country. He describes how he was born in Japan, on a military base, when his parents were both in the Air Force, and how he was later diagnosed as bipolar and hospitalised several times. Donnie is proud that he also served in the Navy with honour and says that people would be shocked to know how many homeless men and women once wore a uniform bearing the flag of the world's richest nation. Fast forward several years. My cocaine use had become a major problem and the nightmare began. Then, on July the 4th, 2010, with nowhere to call home, Donny boarded a bus to New York and went cold turkey overnight, turning his back on cocaine. I thought I'd hit rock bottom till I saw what rock bottom was, Donny tells the BBC reporter. But soccer saved my life. You're a natural, Donny, we tell him. But Donny isn't feeling at his best today. He hasn't slept for days and also has a wound which refuses to heal. But it won't spoil his week here in Mexico City. A little hole in my chest isn't going to keep me from playing. At the opening ceremony, Donny and his teammates were inspired by the reaction of the crowd. As they marched through the streets filled with thousands of cheering spectators, with the stars and stripes proudly held high in the air. But Donny is just one of many hundreds of thousands of people who have taken part since 2003. He is also only one of hundreds of players from dozens of countries who play in the tournament every year. Then comes the long journey back. Personally, I always find it very moving when the players return to their countries because I hope they'll be inspired by their experience and transform their lives for the better, like Donny. Soon after returning from Mexico City, Donny got a job and the keys to an apartment. Nowadays, he works as a photographer and recently went back to school. But for Donny, the journey continues. And for hundreds of players in Mexico City and hundreds of thousands of others all over the world, the Homeless World Cup is the first step on that journey. I have kept in touch with Donny every year since then and followed his progress. He has had his ups and downs, but he is always philosophical and honest about how he feels. Donny's story could be the story of many other players at the Homeless World Cup. Homelessness does not respect any national borders. It can happen to anyone, anywhere, at any time. It can happen to me and to you. I am proud of Donny and what he's achieved. I am proud to call Donny my friend. <laughs>